To paraphrase Steve Ballmer, sample, sample, samples. In the creation of just about anything, samples go a long way in proving something's feasibility. In the video game world, some of the most known development samples are the ones from console manufacturers, with the Dolphin demo for Xbox being there at the start of things and continuing to this day. But the same goes for the game engines themselves. Developer Monolith Productions is known for their LithTech engine, with various incarnations powering a ton of games that you may recognize. Blood 2 The Chosen, No One Lives Forever, Tron 2.0, Fear, and so many more. With their LithTech Jupiter engine, Monolith planned to support Microsoft's first Xbox console, which necessitated new samples to be made. None of these samples qualify as a game, of course, but it is neat to see models for one game in particular running on Xbox. The samples themselves are all pretty simple, testing a range of features like loading of movies and shaders. Some, like this one, loads models, and can show how they are put together in the engine itself. Some initially look like they may be some sort of game, but in reality, it lives up to its name of being simple physics. This room would be common in most of these demos, though each is different in its own ways. In this version of the room, it loads a bunch of models, again, some of which may be familiar. One sample, titled Multicam, would let you have multiple viewpoints, I would imagine, but I only tested it with one controller. This one is neat, though, because it uses the player model from the PC and Mac exclusive No One Lives Forever 2, that of Kate Archer. This one almost behaves like a game, in the sense that you can walk around, jump, do some headbutts, and seemingly damage yourself, though it doesn't seem to matter any. There's rarely much to see in any of these demos, but I wanted to share a quick peek anyway. I'm sure the LithTech Jupyter development environment is out there if you want to check it out for yourself, but don't link it below. Until next time, thanks for watching.